A very good evening uh, to our viewers. Thank you for joining us again tonight on the Evening Review. My name is Toivon Jabela, your host. Tonight we are welcoming back to the platform uh, Sam Shivute. He is the Commissioner for the Namibia Revenue Agency, NAMRA. And uh, he's here to just again help us uh, contextualize some of the things that we have seen in the press in recent weeks. And he always makes time to come and address those things. Thank you, Sam. Welcome back to the platform. Uh, the, I suppose the one of the pressing issues right now, um, recently on, in that very chair, <laughs> we had a, a, a representative of a group of people who are being haunted by NAMRA for, I suppose, uh, tax claims that uh, were fraudulent in nature or something related to that, saying that uh, their houses are being threatened, their cars, their salaries are being uh, are taken away by NAMRA. If you can give us a bit of synopsis of what happened in that case. Okay. Um, uh, thank you very much, um, Toivo, for having me in your studio. And a very good evening to all Nam Namibians. So yes. we are very grateful for this opportunity. Yeah. At NAMRA, we believe big time in stakeholder engagement. Yeah. We believe in educating Namibians uh, on taxpayers and also raising awareness on tax issues. Mm -hmm. And every time you want to clarify issue with regard to NAMRA or taxation, please feel free to call on us mm -hmm. and we'll always be available to come and uh, share with the public. Yeah. Now, maybe just to give you the, the, the context. Uh, when Namibia Revenue Agency was launched on the 7th of uh, April 2021 by His Excellency uh, President Dr. Hage Jigenkop, uh, he have called for Namibia to have stronger institutions, institutions that have systems and processes, and those processes must also be respected. Mm. And we hit those calls. So when your political leaders make those statements and they say, law to back that one up, you have got no choice but to comply. As mm. a result, we are now in a journey or in the process of building that institution, of course, making sure that you have the right people in the right position, mm working on your systems like your tax administration system to make sure that the system are optimized so that they can be world class then also working on your processes and also building an organizational culture mm. a culture that have a zero tolerance to corruption mm. now as part of now in building this institution this strong institution we also have a vision where we aspire to be a world class revenue agency saving with passion to positively impact the livelihood of every Namibian. Mm. We are also required by law to improve service delivery, but in improving service delivery and bringing about efficiency as well, you also need then to look at the inefficiency and also the loopholes that has been in the system. Yeah. As a result of that, then at the beginning of last year, uh, to be specific in March, we, we got some intelligence that they have been people and individuals within the country uh, that have been uh, getting refunds that they are not entitled to. Mm. Uh, when other people are paying, you have others who have been working together with uh, some bookkeepers or accountants and some in, I, I, I colleagues within NAMRA, and they've been getting this refund. Mm. Now, when you get information like that, just like uh, we tackle all other uh, sectors of our society or economy where there are non-compliance, yeah. When you get such intelligence, then the first thing you need to do is to start investigating. So once we get that uh, intelligence and we started investigating, mm. and within uh, a period of not more than three weeks of investigating, then we could uh, substantiate and confirm that uh, the information and the intelligence that were brought to us that people have been stealing from the state for some time, yeah. uh, it, w it was then confirmed and uh, by March last year, we initially confirmed and determined that, oh, 15 million, the first amount that we could confirm was 15 million Namibian, uh, 15 million Namibian dollars mm. and a number of uh, taxpayers who have been involved. As a result of that, you would recall that uh, we put then a moratorium where we say, for the time being from March until end of June, we are not going to do any re uh, refund to income tax, especially mm. to those taxpayers who are registered as provisional taxpayers. Those mm -hmm. are now your taxpayer who are having a, a monthly income, but they also have additional income from different business activity or farming and so on. Mm -hmm. So after that, those three months, then we then just noted that, oh, this thing is uh, big. People have truly been stealing from the state. 
and, and I'm, I'm, I'm using the word stealing because this is people who have been fraudulently submitting false claims and uh, getting money that they are not supposed to do. Mm. So that amount have then been growing as we have been updating the public. That amount grew from 15 million. And as I'm talking to you now, uh, the information as I'm talking to you now, that amount have grown up to 833 million Namibian dollars. The taxpayers uh, that are involved, we are talking about uh, 1,336. Uh, you are talking about uh, those individuals working for, more th for, for 86 institutions. These are now your ministry, private sectors, and so on. Mm. And, um, and, 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 but, but again, we have then put together a team, which team then have to start, st have start investigating these cases, yeah. auditing these cases. And we have just noted that we are dealing with two cases here. You have administrative case, Administrative case, this is where when we determined and we, we have audited and we, our auditors and investigators have determined that you have stolen from the state, they will then reach out to you with a process of getting you in for you to substantiate some of the claims and so on. Mm. They are also going to places to those farms and so on. So, yes, yeah, so, 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 so what we, 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 we have noted is that we are having now an administrative case and also criminal case. Yeah. So we have, uh, what, what we then do, we are registering, we having uh, administrative case. This is where then we follow the Income Tax Act and its processes that require for us to get that which is due to the state mm. and also registering criminal case. Currently now we have about 52 criminal cases registered, but one need to remember that one case could have even up to a hundred suspects. Mm. Now, the issue of uh, the investigation of criminal case and the arrest of criminals, uh, that is the jurisdiction of the Namibian police. Mm. And the decision whether to prosecute or not, that is the jurisdiction of the prosecutor general. Mm. So normally at NAMRA, our hands are already full. We, we work very closely together with all other law enforcement agencies but we do not uh, get into the mandate which is not our mandate like arresting people. Mm. However, this amount, and, and I remember when we initially determined that there has been a very serious fraud that has been committed in this country, I have been to the, in the media, I have uh, called upon those who have been involved and say, please come, get your document right, uh, rectify your returns and pay what is due to the state. Because one thing about taxation is that wh when you owe, you owe. And, and, but what, uh, what we need the Namibian people to understand, this is not even a case of someone who did not pay. Mm. This is not tax evasion. This is fraud. This is theft. This is someone whereby when the cleaner that work at the hospital or at the government office this is a case whereby when a police constable or a soldier get their money deducted from their salary, you and I, when we get deducted, and these people, the, 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 the people that we are talking here, they then working together with their bookkeepers and submitting uh, fraudulent uh, um, uh, claims, claims mm. and getting paid and get uh, away with it. But I must also emphasize and indicate because some of them are very logical and reasonable people and they are coming and say, look, to be honest, I was just at a shop and uh, uh, someone uh, told me that, uh, did you not, um, uh, did you hear that, uh, did, did you, are, are you getting refunds? Mm. No, I don't get refunds. No, get me your name and so on. So you had people who have been recruiting people to get their names to the, those bookkeepers and auditors. All you need to do is to give your details and so on. And before you know it, you start already getting refunds. Some you get, you get 40,000, 100,000. Some can even get up to 600,000 per year. Mm. So, so the state account has been bleeding. Uh, the state account has been bleeding, but I'm happy that you called NAMRA for us to come at this platform. Yeah. Because what had happened is that now, the same people who have been, some they were aware some of course they they, they 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 may argue that they were tricked by their accountant or bookkeepers mm. but the crime is a crime ignorance of the law is not an excuse 
why we are happy to be here is also some time to provide context and to give also our perspective mm. because now the people who have benefited this unjury mm. now they are driving a narrative which narrative that they are driving is that all of a the sudden they are the one who are victimized all of a the sudden uh, they want to politicize this thing and uh, of course you are maybe aware of uh, a number of a uh, whatsapp group where they are on as well mm. where because their strategy some of the strategy we have access to those strategy for example uh, let's uh, let's take this thing to each and to all the politicians mm. uh, let's take it to the politician let's give pressure to namra uh, let's uh, demonstrate let's meet at zoo park let's uh, gather in front of namra's dedicated service center until something is done mm -hmm. and um, I'm, I'm i'm very i'm very grateful that we have some politician who will, for example say no the process must take its place mm. or if i know i have received money that i'm not entitled to let me pay back because this money supposed to be buying panado this money supposed to be buying vehicle from the namibian police this money supposed to be ensuring that the namibian police is properly resourced for manpower and so on that we have sufficient medication in the hospital and so this money supposed to ensure that um, Namibia because what happened is that if the state if the state is not well resourced yeah. it get weakened yeah. and a weak state will not be able to protect and pro and provide for its citizen mm. now now the same people who have been stealing from the and I'm using the word stealing because the prima facie evidence is there uh, anyone heading be it a corruption or police who can come the evidence is then we have reported this mm. so this is not allegation this is the the, the the record are there when the claim was submitted when the money was paid because this money were in paid black in and white. The, yes and this money was paid this money was not paid cash mm. this money was fraudulently paid into the bank account mm. and, and 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 also toivo this serious crime that many namibians are not talking about yeah. just like we were talking about um uh, GIPF 600 million. This case is bigger than many cases that people have had here. Mm -hmm. But but it's not even a Namara's case. Yeah. Namara is just implementing and forcing the law that we have been given to administer. This is not a Namara's case because this is a state, a serious state case. So 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 it has. Before you go for a break, so Namara is strictly dealing with uh, recouping this money back through arrangements with some of these individuals. But it doesn't mean that, because one of the questions that I was asking uh, Mr. Kangumene, who was here the, the other time, was to say, the impression for me was that uh, they, they only need to pay back this money, and that's it. But you seem to suggest that uh, separately, the police is handling it from their side, of, from their mandate, and the PG might be involved again if uh, some of these cases are forwarded to that office for possible prosecution. Oh, yes, uh, yeah, yes, yes. This is not just about uh, paying the money back. Mm. Uh, the, 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 you, you have a criminal case and you also have administrative case. Our focus now really is because the, the income tax law does empower us to recover that amount of money. We're recovering it. Some people are very great. Some of them, they are, they are paying back. Some of them, they do not even respond uh, to our emails, to our communication. And when th that's why sometimes we are then forced to make use of Section 91, that's notice to agent where we are empowered to go directly either to your bank or to your employer. There have also been some employers who have uh, uh, tried to, to refuse to respond to our call. And what we do, we go to their own account, that employer's account, and take the money because the law does give us that power. Mm -hmm. Because they, you may have heard about this concept about pay now agulators. Mm -hmm. and, we, and, and, and we are saying is that if you submit all your evidence and so on, and maybe you, 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 you were not paid uh, fraudulently and so on, uh, there is a section within uh, uh, Income Tax Act that requires us to give you your money back. But truth be told, the state account have been bleeding, and that's why I'm saying the Namibia, every person who call themselves patriotic to this country, yeah. every person who understand the difference that a dollar or a million can make, and what that money could have done to this country, especially when you had some time people saying, oh, this government does not have money, mm. or this state does not have money. What has happened here 
it's a very, very serious act. And now, yeah. now those who are being mobilized, uh, different individuals, different yeah. individual, powerful individual within society, some of them they would want to, they, 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 they are fighting for that and getting sympathy, mm -hmm. but they don't think about people whose life would have been saved by the money that had been stolen, stolen. for a long time. Absolutely. And Namra will have to carry out this mandate without fear and favor. Yes. Uh, that that needs to be very clear. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We go for a quick break uh, and return with uh, Sam Shibute. We are so excited to be kickstarting your morning with the entertainment. Everything was happening mm. during this past weekend. Yes. Exciting news. Wow, no, she was killing it already. In my opinion, I don't see anything wrong with him serving the full term. As well as keeping you informed on the issues that you need to know happening in and around our country. Welcome to What's Cooking, where culinary passion meets expert insights. Somebody must really want to cook and want to cook good food. Immerse yourself in the bustling world of professional kitchens as top chefs create mouthwatering dishes. Join us for in-depth interviews as our host explores the experiences and expertise of our guest chefs. Don't miss out. Tune in to What's Cooking on NTV every Friday at 2100 hours and let the culinary adventure begin. The conversation continues with uh, Sam Shivute of Namra. Now, Sam, before we, because I want us to also delve into a different subject, which is related to the the the, the 33 million issue that uh, you, will, I'll explain that later. But I wanted um, you to address me briefly on this notion that you and that group that is affected or that is actually affected the country because of these fraudulent activities that they are proposing a 15 year period within which to pay back this money yeah. and that number seem to be stuck or sticking to its guns and saying this money must be paid within three years if I understand the, the whole thing correctly, uh, if you can reflect on that a little bit. Yeah, no, yeah. thank you, Toivo. Yes, I have received that request that we should consider to give the, the individual who have uh, unlawfully benefited from that scam to pay uh, back within a period of 10 to 15 years. Yeah. N now, NAMRA only operate within the confine of the laws. We, we do not have discretional power on our own. Mm. Now, uh, I have responded to, 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 to the author of that uh, request and I can't, the, the, the Commissioner of Namibia Revenue Agency cannot do that which he wished to do, which is not prescribed within the law. The State Finance Act provides that when you have a debt due to the state, mm. the maximum amount to settle that debt is uh, 36 months. And therefore, there is no legal power that empower the Commissioner to extend that period to 10 or 15 years. Yeah. But also people need to understand, uh, you know, we, 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 we are really, we are, Namra is a servant of the Namibian people and we really care for the people. However, it must also be understood that in other jurisdiction, if you just look at the record, even at SALS, on a minimum, on an annual basis, 10 houses have to be reprocessed. Mm. You, you, meaning that because when people got this money, they invested it, they bought houses, they went on holiday, they bought cattle and so they, they, they invested. This money was a lot. You can't just consume it into the pocket. Mm. Remember, we we're talking about close to 833 million, but that amount will continue going up depending on the resources that we get to work on those many cases. Mm. Now, we have not even up to this stage considered to go to the, to, to, to the immovable assets. We're saying, because this is a case of greedy, Remember, all these people who are involved, the 1,336 that I told you, none of them is unemployed. All mm. of them, th this was a sick man, a group of people who are having a salary. And as a result of having a salary, and now then they register to be, to be provisional taxpayer and farmers. Yeah. And some of them, the funny thing, when we were visiting where they are saying they are farming, a person is saying he's a farmer, but he do not even have a chicken. <laughs> do not even have two cows. And uh, some of them, they will all even, all, even tell you that, no, I, 
I, I bought 20 uh, kettles. But when you do the investigation, what people need to understand, we are strengthening the investigation capability like they have never seen before. Yeah. And uh, so, so the only reason why we could not assent to the request to, for the repayment to be done uh, 10 to 15 years is because the law does not empower us to do that. In actual fact, you may ordinarily be forced to go to immovable uh, assets. But we are saying, no, 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 no. Because this, this is a crime of greedy. Mm -hmm. All these people are working and they have salaries. Uh, so, so let's exhaust what is there first, the liquid, liquid assets. Yeah. And, and that is really where we are. And uh, if you know you have received the money that you are not entitled to, my advice to the group, especially those knowing the very well that you have you have been unduly benefited uh, from the stealing, f rooting from the state account. Make arrangement. If you have cattle, if you are you happen to have to be a farmer, or you have make an arrangement, or go to the bank, borrow and settle this, and maybe try to 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 get the interest and penalty waived because that amnesty is still until October next year. Mm -hmm. Then, if you want to then to object or whatever, that is something else. But settle this now, uh, because the thing is that the law is very clear. Uh, the, the, you, 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 the people can run to the politicians like they are doing. People can call us whatever. We are working according to the processes. Yeah. And the number have not made a single law or rule. We are just applying that. Some of them have yeah. even gone to court. Some of them have even gone to court, but we are happy. The court, I mean, in, in the uh, yeah. Zongmei case, our position of uh, getting to bank account, to employer, yeah. pay now, argue later, it has been confirmed now in a fourth different case. And, 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 it's and a that case is, law now. Uh, it's, a, it's a case law. That, that yeah. one, <laughs> you, yeah. you can, there's <laughs> nothing you can do about it. Absolutely. So, so, so in that case of Zongmei, it was uh, a very, very interesting case. Namra was owed money by a company that has made nearly a billion dollars from state contracts in Namibia, got paid by government and uh, whoever contracted them, not paid a single cent to, to NAMRA in, in Texas. NAMRA stood up, grabbed 33 million from their account, and then you were dragged to court. The court seemed to have vindicated mm. your decision. But what seems to be interesting now is that eventually, this very company got another state contract mm -hmm. worth 340 million to construct the Karibib um, um, Usakos Road. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to drag you into that particular thing because it's a different thing, but when you have a state entity like NAMRA trying to compel these companies to, to comply with tax laws, and then another state company owned by the same state as NAMRA awards this tender to the very company that has not been paying anything to the state, there seems to be a contradiction there. If you can give me your view on that. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you my view because Zong may, uh, normally because of confidentiality, we do not mention taxpayers' name. Yes. But once you take Namra to court and the, your case become public, we can talk Absolutely. about you. Absolutely, yes. Maybe first just to give a context to say, it's not only that specific company yeah. that has been getting tenders and not paying a single cent. There have, have been many cases, and there have also been many cases where we have gone to bank account and take the money. You will only hear about these cases when they take us to court, because when you take us to court, you waiver your confidentiality. We can also talk about it. So there have been that yeah. one is just one of the ca many many cases that yeah. we are working on. Yeah. Now. Now, we, 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 we must always listen to, we, we must work in accordance with the law, but we must also always listen to the political, top political statement as well. Mm. What is President Hage Gainkop's advice and teaching to us as Namibian? No one should be left out, but also we must hold hands and move into the same direction. Yeah. I, I think that is what I would want to say. We need to move into the same direction. Yeah. Of course, there could be many cases that, okay, this, uh, this tender, maybe that requirement was not there or it was international or whatever. But I must say, tell you, what is the purpose for us then to have the requirement of being in good standing in other tenders and so on? You, do, do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I don't want to get involved because I think those who 
I don't want to question the wisdom of those who made the decision. Um, I don't want to get involved in that because, like I say, at Namra we already have too much on our hands and we are committed to, to passionately and uh, with all commitment to deliver on, on our mandate. We'd, I don't want to be the judge of others, mm -hmm. but uh, all I'm, I'm, I'm saying here is that we need to hold hand, all the, all the Namibian institution, law enforcement, we need to hold hand and move into the same direction because um, the issue, our, our position about uh, zero cent paid, up to today nobody could contradict that. But I want to make a point here that that is not only one, that is not the only case. Yeah. There are many of similar cases and my my colleagues, they are working very hard getting money for the state in respect to that. Mm -hmm. But I'm also, I also want to inform the Namibian people, thank you, uh, because this money that these many companies that they are, they are getting here, uh, and th they have found a way, what we call illicit financial flow. Mm -hmm. Most of these companies, they are taking the money out of the country. And what they are doing is that they are getting people from... Uh, uh, very vulnerable people from, let's say, maybe from from very uh, disadvantaged background, people who are not working, taking their ID card, identity card, and say that, oh, we want to arrange so that you can get some welfare or assistance from foreigners and so on. And they end up registering ghost company in the name of uh, this Namibian underprivileged people. And... Uh, as these companies are getting money, they are paying this money into the ghost account and money is taken out of Namibia. So but we, we, what people, people who are claiming and who are patriotic to this country, what they need to do is to support Namibia Revenue Agency to be a very strong institution like we've been advised by our president, to have processes, to have uh, competent people to ensure that there's no corruption. Mm. And I can tell you if that happened in very few years time, yeah. the question about uh, us not having sufficient funds, even maybe to fund our budget 100%. Yeah. I can tell you, even within a period of three, four years, it will be something of the past, yeah. based on what we are seeing, what is happening here. Yes. But I just want to, and pray my colleagues, they must continue working hard, because these guys are not sleeping, they are working. Yeah. And uh, I would want them to call all the law enforcement agencies and other institutions. Yeah. We have all to work and move into the same direction. Absolutely. But I, I don't want to judge people or whatever because those who make decisions, they have their own reason o about what they are doing. Yeah. But um, the records are, the, the, the Zong <laughs> May case, that's a public case. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. It's always a pleasure having you. Uh, thank you for your time again this time around. I think uh, we understand uh, the job that you have on your hand, uh, but we wish you strength and uh, we'll keep monitoring what's happening at Namda. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. We yeah. will continue serving with passion. Wonderful. Yeah. That's uh, Seb Shibute. He's uh, the head of NAMRA, speaking to us about uh, the many things that have been in the papers and TV in recent weeks. Thank you for watching.